Hey everyone, this is Corey, and I'm going to show you how to play Everglow by Coldplay. So before we start, you should know that a per perfectly timed delay effect is essential if you want to get the exact sound you hear in the song. I'm not sure how to technically describe the effect, but just play around with your amp until you get this. Alright, so let's start with the song's signature guitar riff that's played during the intro and during the song's two choruses. Alright, that's four notes. You have a B on the B string 12th fret. Then a C sharp on the B string 14th fret. Back down to the B. Then slide down to to an E on the B string 5th fret. Then again, play that to B and C sharp. And then slide down to an F sharp on the B string 7th fret. Right, and by learning that riff, we pretty much went, went, went over most of the song. All that's really left is the solo after the second chorus. So the first part of the solo goes like this. Okay, um, that's a B on the G string 4th fret. Slide that up to a D sharp on the G string 8th fret. Tap an E on the G string 9th fret. And then again, play that D sharp. Then you have this, all, uh, high up on the neck of the guitar. Alright, start off with your fourth finger on a C sharp on the high E string 21st fret. Your third finger on a B on the high E string 19th fret. Then your second finger on an E on the B string 17th fret. Your first finger on a G sharp on the high E string 16th fret. Then again, your third finger on that B on the high E string 19th fret. Alright, and let the delay effect do the work. Then you have this. That's again that E on the B string, 17th fret. Your first finger on an F sharp on the high E string, 14th fret. And then again, your third finger on that B on the high E string, 19th fret. Then 
Then last, then you have this. All right, uh, that's your first finger on a D sharp on the B string 16th fret. Your second finger for an E on the B string 17th fret. Your third finger for an F sharp on the B string 19th fret. Again, that D sharp. Again, the E. The D sharp. And then your third finger for a C sharp on the G string 18th fret. Alright, then last, you have this. Alright, that's again a B on the G string 4th fret. Then an E on the B string 17th fret. Then, then an F sharp on the B string 19th fret. So the whole solo goes like this. Alright, then the song's outro is the same rift we learned earlier. Alright, and that's it. In case you're confused on where and when er everything is played, I'm going to cover the song next. So take a look at that, then it'll make it easier to learn.